Satanism in hip hop. This was a pre-recorded interview, and I was it was very difficult to catch up with him. He's obviously very busy, so I actually got him on a cell phone. So you're going to hear some some noises and whatnot, and a little bit of technical difficulties that we ran into on the broadcast, but. Just focus on the information. It's actually going to get better as it goes. You're going to hear a little reverb here and there, but um, just deal with it, and it's going to work its way out as you listen to the interview. So I'm just going to turn it on now, and you're going to hear the very first question. You'll hear Kijani again. He's a YouTube producer of Satanism and Hip Hop videos. So check it out and enjoy. So you have the, the list of uh, questions I sent you? Yes, yes. Yeah. So my first one's going to be, how long have you been awake? Like everybody's not even aware that Christ is real. How long have you been, like at that point in your life? Um, well, I first gave my life to Christ in um, 1993, March 11th, actually, was the date of 1993. I know because I have this um, little small pocket uh, Bible that I carry with me everywhere I go and it, it's ragged right now so I can't even read it anymore <laughs> because the pages are falling out but I still keep it with me so that was the day but um, you know even though I had given my life to Christ then I was I was still young and and I was which what I would call a lukewarm uh, Christian because you know I was still in the world and doing certain things um but after, you know, a few experiences and, and living and, and, and things like that, Yahweh, uh, you know, he brought me to a great understanding of, of what it is to be a believer and, you know, and how to walk in, in, in faith and put all my trust in him and become a doer of the word and not just a hearer. So. You know, what's really interesting is that I read that... Um, in the Bible, it says that you don't choose God; He chooses you. Yes. yes. So I just thought that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Yes, 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 yes. And we have uh, predestined and foreknew. Yes, it's, it's a beautiful thing because He has this this whole thing figured out already before before we, you know, we're even born into this world. You know, He, mm -hmm. he has His plan for us. You know. So, why do you believe hip hop has been infiltrated by Satanism? Maybe, like some people are listening to hip hop from the beginning with uh, the Sugar Hill Gang and whatnot, and up to where we are today. And what if they just say it's like this is like the evolution of rap music? How do you feel about that? Well, I wouldn't say the evolution. I would say the devolution of it, if, if they want to say it in that term, uh, because it really is uh, influenced by Satanism. Um, because, you know, the, 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 the influence that it has on the youth and society, I think it's a continuation of, um, like, you know, um, of the corrupting the morals of society, and I think it's, it started way, way back, way before I was born, and probably before you were born. Robert Johnson, who's the king of rock and roll, and uh, there's a story that he sold his soul at the crossroads. You know. And you know what I saw? Let me interrupt you for a minute, because I saw that um, same character depicted in Oh Brother, We're Out There. Did you? Did you, you saw that movie? Uh, you know what? I, I haven't seen the whole movie. I, I caught the end of the movie. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I happened to slip, be flipping through uh, stations, and I caught the end of it, but I, I've never sat down and watched the entire movie. I, I, when I saw your video, I saw him, and that's exactly what I thought about, because they picked him up at the crossroads, and he was actually saying in the movie that he sold his soul to the devil, and he was like the backbone of the group, like the guitar right. player. Right. And, and I, I think that... Uh, it, it is just continued and progressed from there, being that uh, hip-hop is, is kind of, uh, I guess, the leader right now in, in influencing the youth because you have, you know, not just black, not just Spanish, white, you have all races that, that uh, listen to hip-hop. And right. uh, 
I, I think that uh, for for Satan, this is you know uh, a, a prime area that he can use in order to influence uh, that that particular group, you know. And, and and he he's doing it master, masterfully because a lot of people are being exposed to the to the stuff and and they're unaware, you know. Do you think they know what they're doing, like like Jay Z and Lady Gaga? Do you think that they are conscious of supporting Satanism? You know, I believe some artists are actually conscious of what they're doing, um, and I, I think it it depends on how deep they are into it, how well versed they are in in occult knowledge. I, I believe Jay Z and, and Lady Gaga definitely are aware of what they're doing. Now, some newer artists that may be just being initiated into the into the craft is what they call it. Uh, they may not be truly aware. It's just like with with masonry. A mason comes in uh, to the organization thinking that it's a benevolent organization and that it's it's Christian when in fact it really isn't. But they don't find that out until you know later on. Um, and, until they start moving up in degrees and things of, of that nature. So I believe it's the same way with, with the music uh, industry. So I caught another one of your clips, and it was of Jay-Z in the studio, and he closes out with, that's why I've never read the Bible in my entire life. Mm -hmm. And then he was on a radio show, and the lady asked him if he believes in um, God, is he a Satanist, and he said no, and he said, I have a personal relationship with God, but then he's never read the Bible, so I don't, I don't understand that. Right, so it's really like, what God are you speaking of? And that's the thing, see, people, um, they take, I believe they take these artists say at face value and a lot of times you can't because if they're speaking in uh, you know allegory or double speak double entendre or whatever the case may be then they may say something to you and you know you take it one way but it's really meant in another way and, and that is another um, I think example of masonry because in masonry you have a lot of different signs symbols and emblems that may mean one thing to the uninitiated, but to the initiated, it means something totally different. So when he says, yeah, I believe in God, uh, well, suppose he believes that Satan is God, which this is what Satanists believe, you know, that exactly. Satan is the true God and that Yahweh is evil, you know. So when he says that I believe in God, you can't just automatically assume that he's talking about the creator of, of the universe. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's talking about Yahweh, the one true God, the most high, because he's not. So who do you believe is teaching these artists? Um, I, I have, like, a, uh, another part of the question, too. Um, have you seen the, the videos of Roger Morneau? Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he he's actually said that he's, like, met the fallen angels. Do you believe that there's a like a, a setup where they're actually sitting in front of the fallen angels and they're going through Masonic rituals and they're actually possessed at this point? You know what? Um, of course, I can't, I can't speak from first-hand knowledge, but um, Shilo, he said something um, in one of his songs, uh, Transformer. Uh, he says, um, he's talking about Basically, the song is about um, he's singing in, as if he was Satan, and he's describing how when these people meet him and they see him, you know, that they believe him because how beautiful he is, or he presents him, himself. Basically, this is what the song is talking about, you know, and that he can transform into anything that he wants to. He can be you, me, whatever, is what he's saying in the song. So, um, I wouldn't doubt that, that, uh, Satan would manifest himself and, you know, uh, uh, you know, you have demonic spirits that manifest themselves to, to people and you see signs and things of that nature. Um, even with, with people that go to like palm readers or, or, uh, 
seances where they have uh, 